Hey everyone, it's Tom here with Bunny Media. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, are you a small business owner, blogger, or e-commerce store operator who's looking to do email marketing on a budget? Well, if you want one of the most beginner-friendly, affordable email marketing solutions out there, MailerLite could be for you. But as you probably know, you always wanna make sure an email service provider really has the tools you need and the functionality you need to get your job done because making the switch from an email service provider to a new one can be an absolute headache, so it's important to be sure of the choice you're making. So in our MailerLite review, I'm covering everything you need to know about MailerLite, from the pricing, the features, the pros and cons, and how to decide if this email service provider is the right one for your business. Uh, but yeah, without wasting any more time, let's hop right over to my laptop, get into my MailerLite dashboard, and we'll kickstart this review. All right, hey guys, so we're just hopping into MailerLite over here. I'm really excited to kickstart this review and I figure we'll hop right into it and I'll just go through my dashboard really quickly. So yeah, this is what the dashboard looks like when you use MailerLite and you have your email list with this company, whether you're a paid customer or using the free plan. So this is my dashboard here. You can see it shows quickly just the last campaign I've sent, like how many recipients it has, the open rate, the click-through rate, everything like that. You can track you know, how many subscribers you have, how many you gained over the last month, but you can see how many subscribers you're actually approved for, subscriber growth over the months, and uh, everything like that. So first and foremost, let's hop into how you actually build email campaigns with MailerLite because when you use an email service provider, you want to make sure that you know your email newsletter builder is actually intuitive and friendly so you can create emails and it's not a pain for you to do. So you can see I've sent a few before, and again, it tracks all of your recipients, open rate, click-through rate, everything like that. And one thing I like is you can create campaigns from scratch, but I'm just gonna copy one so I can show you guys kind of the uh, MailerLite email builder and what it, it actually is like to use. I'm gonna click that copy button. And so yeah, that'll basically move it over to draft. And then from there, it's really quick just to edit uh, a previous email you sent. Yeah, so first and foremost, you can edit everything really quick, like your campaign name, the subject, who it's going to come from. So when your email recipients receive the email, like they see who it's from. So let's just call this test email for now. You can insert personalizations as well, which is cool. So your subscriber's name, email, you know, company, things like that. So just hit confirm and boom, we're in the editor. So this is a previous email I sent to all of my subscribers, kind of just updating them with what was going on with my blog. You can see it has different content blocks in here where I include some of the best weekly reads and watches, some of my YouTube content, you know, just some updates for my readers and then, you know, just a kind of thank you for them to stick around. But MailerLite's actually quite uh, intuitive. You know, you have all of your content blocks that you can add on the side here. So you can add things like, you know, your logo and an extra navigation. You can add titles, subtitles, new text boxes, emails, highlight articles. I really like these ones. I think they're quite nice and you pretty much just drag them in here and all of a sudden you can, you know, edit the text right on the side here, you know, edit your your content, add some new links in here if you want people to read. It's quite easy to uh, to move stuff around really. Yeah, so I think these kinds of content blocks are honestly quite nice to use. Like you can just slide in different ones you want to use and then you know introduce a new feature introduce new content kind of share what's going on with your business or blog again all you have to do is click edit on a content block and you can start to you know add new content like a video url you know use subtitle heading and you can see you can see as you uh, change the text here it actually updates live so you can see how your email is going to look start adding new images and everything like that now one thing i will say about mailer lights email builder it's you know it is intuitive and easy like you pretty much just go through all of the content blocks, you find what you want and you know, you can add things like products, you can add new content blocks, dividers, spacers, it's very easy to use. It is a little bit restrictive in the sense like you have your email template and you kind of edit that content and that's really all you're doing. You're not really making like a, you know, crazy email landing page or anything like that. This is just a pretty standard newsletter template. And one thing I actually don't like about the editor, it's a little bit annoying to, to add new images. So for example, there's no like stock footage uh, partnership that I honestly find quite annoying. So I can't just search for like, uh, let's say money or something like that and get all of this stock footage that's you know partnered with MailerLite and I can just slide into my, my email list. It's actually kind of annoying. All of these images I had to go and find and then upload. So yeah, so if you wanna put in a new image, you actually have to go and find it on a free stock photo website or from your own photography skills. So it's a little bit annoying. It can be a little clunky at times, but in terms of just a basic rudimentary email builder, 
it has everything you need. You can add in content blocks really easily, edit your content just on the sidebar here. So quite intuitive overall. And then when you're done, you have this preview mode, which actually shows you what the email you're about to send looks like. So, so you can quickly view it on desktop to see how it looks. You can look at it on mobile and just see what people would see. It's honestly not the nicest email template or builder I've ever seen, but it's very easy to use. It's super snappy and quick. So you kind of get what you're paying for in that regard. It'll take a while to load and then you can review and confirm your email blast that you're about to send out. You can send a test email to make sure it's working and everything looks fine. You can preview it again, edit that content, edit the recipients it's going to, and you're pretty much good to go. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about in this MailerLite review really quickly is just the automation capabilities of MailerLite because automation is really how you put your email marketing efforts on passive mode and you're getting traffic from your email marketing list, but you're not putting in as much work to always create you know, unique email content for people. So MailerLite's actually quite simple and I like that because I don't have a lot of time for email marketing and honestly, I don't have a lot of time to like dive into automation. So if you're kind of a beginner blogger or you're managing your e-commerce store, but you're not diving down that, you know, automation rabbit hole, MailerLite definitely has enough functionality for you. So again, I'll just show you kind of an automation I was, I was building as like a test example, but it's very, very simple. You basically start with a trigger. And so in this example, it's when subscriber joins group this online world, which is my mailing list. But you can see you have things like when subscriber completes a form, clicks a link, updates a field, so they enter their purchasing information, for example, or their address or their name, the anniversary of a date, so maybe when they signed up, or maybe if there's a course you're selling and it's the anniversary of the course, or the exact match of a date, so very useful for things like seasonal sales or anything of that nature. But you can just keep it simple to say, like when my subscriber joins this group, and again, you can segment subscribers in different ways, which I'm gonna talk about later, uh, yeah, and that's basically you, how you set up a workflow trigger. So from there, you can set up different steps that fire when this trigger actually becomes true. So somebody joins group this online world and you could add a step in here like send them an email, send them a welcome email or send them a, the first email in your you know series of content that maybe introduces readers to your best posts or introduces people to your best products. Here I said, we're gonna send people who join my subscriber list an email. And again, you have to actually create the content for this. So it's that upfront work, but then you're automating the rest of that email marketing flow. So, so that's overall how you would kind of set up some basic automation. You can add other steps, of course, like you can add delays in there. You can add new conditions. Like for example, someone might have to actually engage with a campaign of yours. It can't just be someone who gets your email. It has to be an opener or someone who clicks or someone who completes a certain aspect of that workflow. Yeah, so you can add a bunch of different conditions. You can add actions like, you know, add them to a new group, copy them to a group, remove them from a group, mark as unsubscribe or move to another step. So really MailerLite has all of the basic tools you need for a decent automation workflow, you know, to welcome new subscribers, to upsell customers who convert into, you know, buying more products, to remove subscribers from groups and kind of play around with how you're segmenting your readers. So overall, it's quite basic, you know, from a surface level, but it's easy to use. And honestly, if you're just getting started with email marketing, I think it's as much automation as you honestly need. All right. And so the next MailerLite feature that I want to look at is just your subscribers tab and how you kind of you know, monitor the subscribers you're getting for your email list, how you segment them and how you kind of, you know, manage all of them. So right off the bat, you can just see anyone who subscribes to your email list, you know, their subscription date, the location, how many emails you've sent, their open and click through rate. And really the main thing you want to focus on with an email list when you're thinking about if you want to use it or not is your segmenting options. And I have done an awful job at this because I basically just group everyone who subscribes to my email list under this broad blogging, you know, subscriber list, but you can actually get creative and make a bunch of different segments. I'll call this one test again. And segments are basically how you bucket subscribers into unique buckets that let you send them more relevant email content. So imagine you're a multi niche blogger. You don't want to just bucket everyone into one list and then send them the same emails because someone who subscribes to your blog after reading a post on pets, might not be interested in reading your baking recipe. So segmentation is very important, especially if you cover multiple niches. So 
Really, MailerLite has, you know, again, basic functionality. You need to segment people. So when you start building a segment, you basically choose a filter to start it off with. So you actually have quite a few options here, like which campaign did they sign up from? How inactive have they been? You know, like what sign up source or sign up date do they have? Their location. The location one's actually very useful if you want to send location specific offers or you know country specific offers to people and you just want some basic segmenting so your list is categorized by country you can do different groups or fields they filled out yeah so you can see here i click the location one and let's just say oh well i want eu subscribers i kind of want to i want to separate them that just went through my entire email list and found anyone who's subscribed from the eu so immediately you can start building some segments with the subscribers you've already captured and you can also just make segments that you're going to put people in moving forwards yeah, so segmenting kind of takes a while to wrap your head around. I, again, have not done enough email marketing for my blog. I've been kind of busy, so I haven't really played around with segmenting too much. But again, MailerLite has everything you need to do to segment people at a pretty basic level. Like you can group people based on their interests, where they sign up from, when they sign up, you know, what kind of pages were they reading on your blog before you actually group them into a segment. So it has everything you need on that front. All right, so one more feature I want to talk about on MailerLite are the forms. So how you actually go about capturing people to subscribe to your email list, because this is one feature that a lot of people kind of glance over. They just assume an email marketer has, you know, enough forms for what they want, but some of them are actually pretty sparse. Yeah, so when you create a new pop-up, again, you actually have quite a few templates to choose from. And this is one thing I actually like about MailerLite. It's affordable, but you still get enough templates to really get the job done. So you can see there's ones like with countdowns in case you're selling a course, ones for holiday discounts or product sales, you know, events you might be coming up with, new recipes you've come out with, you know, a launch of a product. There's quite a few forms that really cover a variety of bases. So bloggers or e-commerce store operators should be able to find something that, you know, works for their business. I also like that you can find ones that are just boxes, you can find sidebar pop-ups, you can do full page ones, which I think are pretty cool. So let's take a look at this you know, full page one. Yeah, so immediately when you select one, you go into the design tool. So this is again, a drag and drop builder where you can really quickly change things uh, like the form background, the content elements. You can change the color to match your branding really quickly. So that's another feature that I like. And again, you can just edit this right here. So I'm typing right now, test pop-up. So it's um, you know, very easy to edit. And another thing MailerLite lets you do is it lets you change the form type. So you can make it pop up just on a blog page. You can make it kind of a smaller, like just floating bar you want people to sign up for. You know, bottom right, you can do a full page one like we were just on or that sidebar one. So this is one thing I really like about MailerLite is it has a decent number of templates and then you can actually kind of play around with it and put your pop up on different pages of your blog and tweak how it's gonna look to match your brand. So one thing I'm gonna show you guys really quick is just this ebook pop-up I made. You can see it's captured about 5,000 subscribers for me and it's popped up on my blog almost half a million times. So it's definitely how I capture most of my email subscribers, but I'll just show you guys in this one really quickly so you actually see a finished pop-up and not a template one. But again, very easy to make. I just found this pre-built template on MailerLite. I then edited the text to say, hey, if you sign up, you can get access to this ebook I wrote on all of these money-making ideas. So anyway, once you're happy with your pop-up, you just hit this next button in the top right corner. And this is where you can go and edit the logic that the pop-up is going to work on. So you basically come to this page. Again, you can go back and preview the design. You can toggle if it's active or not active. You can make a double opt-in. So if someone enters their email, they then have to confirm they want to subscribe. So you're kind of reducing the spam that way. And so then you have this very simple behavior tab you can play with. And this is how you actually control how the pop-up behaves on your site. So you can see what I have on mine is I just make it wait 60 seconds before popping up. And then you can also set things like, you know, show the pop-up when the user scrolls to a certain percentage, like 50, 75, 100, or show before closing the page. You can change the frequency, you can set it on a specific schedule. And one thing I also really like is you can either make it visible on every page or you can only show it on specific pages or hide it on certain pages. So again, a very great way to segment people to your email list because you can make different pop-ups for different types of niches or content on your site and only put them on specific pages. Uh, so overall, I think it's quite a nice little you know feature of MailerLite. I think the pop-ups and templates are quite nice. So another feature worth considering. All right, guys, and the final MailerLite feature we're gonna cover really quick before we jump into pricing are just the landing page options you have. So again, if you're promoting a product or course very heavily and you're building your sales funnel and you actually want to 
promote a product page very heavily, you want your email service provider oftentimes to actually have some nice pre-built templates. So yeah, and so again, this is really what I wanted to highlight here. I won't jump into these too much because you already know how the drag and drop tool works, but MailerLite doesn't have a ton of landing pages, which is a slight downside to this you know, platform that a lot of people kind of gripe about, but you still have enough templates to kind of get the job done depending on what you're trying to promote. So you can see MailerLite has ones for authors, art, announcement, you know, blog posts, events and invitations, nonprofit events, surveys and quizzes, webinar, holiday, business, and you know, it's again, like a pretty decent variety, like you should be able to customize this to kind of you know, match what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to promote. I do wish they had a few more templates. Like you can see like this is pretty clean. Like this is actually like a decent template that if you're promoting a product, you know, you can put in your testimonials here, you know, different images and kind of get like an email subscriber thing here. So if you're promoting something like a webinar, a product, a course, a membership plan, I think MailerLite has enough functionality to help you get the job done. All right, and so one more thing I really want to talk about quickly in this MailerLite review is Probably one of the main reasons people actually pick MailerLite as their email marketing provider, and that is the pricing. So MailerLite is definitely one of the most affordable ways to start email marketing, and it's the reason I use it for my blog right now because I don't really send a lot of email, so I don't want to be spending a fortune. But what I like about MailerLite is their free plan lets you send 12,000 emails per month. Yes, you can only have 1,000 subscribers you send emails to, but 12,000 is quite a lot. So if you're a beginner blogger or a beginner e-commerce store owner, this free plan really has everything you need. And you can also set up automations with the free plan, which is kind of rare for email marketing providers. And from there you see it still remains affordable, like from 1,000 to 2,500 subscribers, it's only $15 a month. And you can use this sliding scale here to see you know, how much you're paying if you have 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, and again, $50 per month for 10,000 subscribers is very affordable. So that is one of MailerLite's strengths and that's kind of how they've positioned themselves in the whole ecosystem of email marketing. I like that you also get a discount if you pay annually, you get a 30% discount, which is not insignificant, especially as you get up to these massive lists. MailerLite is quite cost effective. I mean, email marketing can generate a lot of revenue, especially for e-commerce businesses. So if you're spending 30, 40, 50 bucks a month and you're sending a couple of emails a month and getting more traffic to your store and traffic that converts, I think it's very easy to recoup your money. There's also a 14 day trial if you want the premium plan. And you can see that really the free plan again has a lot of what you need, like you get the drag and drop editor, built in photo editing, you know, you can send mobile friendly emails. The main one is you're going to have a MailerLite logo on the free plan, which is kind of a downside. And you don't get those newsletter templates that we kind of were looking at. Yeah, I think the bottom line is if you're trying to do email marketing on a budget, this pricing structure really, really helps you out, especially if you pay annually for your plan. So at the very least, you can try the 14 day free trial with MailerLite and I think it is a cost effective way to start dabbling with email marketing. All right guys, well I hope this MailerLite review has been informative and helped you decide if this is the right email marketing solution for your business. So MailerLite is actually what I use for my blog right now and I like MailerLite because I don't send as many emails as I should, like not nearly as much. I'm slacking on email marketing these days. So I like it because it is very affordable. It's very beginner friendly. It has basic automation. So for the stage I'm at with my blog right now, it gets the job done. If you need something a little bit more comprehensive, I definitely recommend ConvertKit. And of course you can really go down the rabbit hole and get into stuff like Active Campaign if you want some really powerful automation features. But at the end of the day, if you wanna keep things simple, you wanna just do email marketing on a budget and don't do anything too crazy, I definitely recommend giving MailerLite a try. If there's an email marketing provider you prefer, or if you've had a certain experience with MailerLite, I'd love to know your comments and thoughts down below. It's been Tom Blake with Bunny Media. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, support the channel. We're trying to grow it and get some new content out there. So I hope you guys will stick around. Anyways, that's all for this one. I hope you've enjoyed and we'll catch you guys in the next one.